Hey Kingdom Warriors, how are you guys doing? So tonight I have a couple of scriptures that I want to read to you. and um, But first I just want to to give you some backstory. I grew up in a broken home. Um, I had my grandmother who, who was a believer. And I was kind of raised in church. Knew I was supposed to believe in God. Knew I was supposed to believe in Jesus. I did not quite understand why um she passed away when i was 12 so i didn't really have a lot of chance to to ask many questions and and get a better understanding um the rest of my family they they were very righteous in church and and turned into um devils behind closed doors um i had a very tortured tormented life uh outside of my grandmother and and it was very difficult I, I ended up associating it with church and with Christianity and uh, spent a good part of my adult life chasing um, a false religion and 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 a false God um, so last year I um, refused to take my kids to church and um, God and Jesus started making changes in me. It did not sit right with them. And I have to be honest with you. I'm so glad that, that I refused because <laughs> the level of peace that I have now is just, it's amazing. Like, um, in some ways, I'm so upset that I went through so many years in the dark like I was asleep I had no idea I was so lonely I felt so thrown away and so forgotten and so small and so insignificant and so alone <laughs> and so tortured and so forgotten and so abused and I felt so worthless and I didn't have to. I thought I was alone. I thought that I was going to die alone. I thought that I was put on this earth to love people more than they could ever love me. And, um, and, uh, and then I found Jesus <laughs> and, um, he was there with me. He was there with me the whole time, just waiting for me, just waiting for me to call out his name. He's delivered me from so many addictions and so much pain <laughs> and so much anxiety. I felt like I was a prisoner in my own mind and um, that's my, my hope, that's my prayer. For everybody, for everybody, I just hope that you wake up, that you wake up and you call out his name. Because once you accept the Lord Jesus into your heart and you truly, truly accept him as your Lord and Savior, oh, the peace, <laughs> the peace and the love and the compassion and the understanding that you feel, even in the midst of the storm, you know, accepting Jesus into your heart does not mean that you'll never have pain again. It does not mean that you'll never have troubles or, or, or tribulation again, but it means that you have him in the middle of it all. And somehow, even in the storm, 
your peace. You feel love and you feel calm and you feel held. You feel held in those wonderful hands. And um, so anyway, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. The red nose and everything. <laughs> so um, the backstory, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I never paid attention to the end of that. I was just always, like I said, I grew up in a broken home. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. What kind of parent could give up his son? I could not understand. I just could not make that connection. I felt like Jesus was just like me. I felt like he was, he was thrown away and he was forgotten. I never understood. And um, so I came across the scripture. And when I read it, it put things into perspective for me. It truly helped me understand. So I would like to share it with you. It is John chapter 10, verses 14 through 18. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received of my Father. So, <laughs> Jesus gave his life for us so that we would not have to bear the weight of our sins. We would not have to bear the punishment of our sin. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Passion of the Christ. If you have not, I truly, truly recommend that you do. I know it's a movie, but it can really, really give you an idea of the persecution and the torture and the torment and the horrible, horrible things that that Jesus suffered and he suffered on our behalf so that we would be washed clean and have everlasting life that is pure love he had a pure heart and so much compassion and um and that's our lord that's our lord and savior and um if you're lonely if you're hurt if you're broken hearted, if you're broken, if you're tortured and tormented, if you can't control your thoughts, if you're anxious and you're sabotaging your own happiness, if you feel worthless and, and you feel small and insignificant and um, you feel like you have nowhere to turn and nowhere to go. I'm here to tell you, if you just call out, just call out, call out for Jesus and accept him into your heart. Accept him as your Lord and Savior and he will wash you clean. And you don't have to be perfect when you call out for him. You don't have to give up your addictions to call out for him. He loves you so much that when you accept him into your heart and soul, he loves you too much to let you stay the way you are. He will start making changes in your heart. He will start making changes in your life. He loves you too much to let you stay in sin. You don't have to be perfect to call out to him. Call out to him. Just talk to him like he's right there. Just tell him because he is. He's right there with you. He's just waiting for you to wake up. He's just waiting for you to call his name. Just tell him, Lord, Lord, please, please help me. 
I can't take it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I need you. I need you in my life. Just tell him and he will be there. He will not let you down. He doesn't know how. That's my prayer for you. This is my prayer for everybody. I hope everybody gets a chance to feel his love, to feel his peace, to truly understand his sacrifice. Okay. So, um, I came and I cried. <laughs> mm, I want to thank you guys so much for listening. And um, thank you for all your support. And thank you for all of your encouraging words. Um, I started in September of last year. And I had one subscriber. And I have 135 subscribers now. Um, I'm just so thankful that God and Jesus are giving me the opportunity to share the wonderful word. And um, I just appreciate all of you guys for coming back to listen. And um, I'm just blessed and privileged. If I, can, if I can shed the light on even one soul and, and I can help them understand the true love of Jesus Christ, then it's all worth it. So... I hope you guys have a blessed light. Don't forget that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you too. And we can't leave out the Holy Spirit. Um, he is so wonderful. He will lead you and guide you. And he just wants your fellowship. So don't forget to talk to him. Let him know that you love him and you appreciate him too. Good night, guys. Stay blessed.